Here's a tip for how to be more consistent in wrestling. It's important that we we, we let go. Uh, my best matches when I was a wrestler, I would feel like it would feel like a dream. You couldn't really remember all of the details, and even the matches that I lost when I wrestled, kind of in that, I guess you're kind of lost, right? People call it a flow, and. Um, you know, there's some scientific research behind flow. The flow state, you could look at if you had any interest. But what I've learned is that if you're thinking about too many things, especially things that cause emotion, like fear of not winning, because those of us who have very high goals, the, the thoughts of not accomplishing those goals are absolutely terrifying to us, right? And so then, our attention goes there because we're like, how do we make this go away? Well, now you're getting distracted. So I think it's important just to focus on, they say po focus on the process, not the outcome. Well, you should focus on the outcome. You know, I guarantee you when you're climbing Mount Everest, you got to stare at the peak every once in a while because you want to get emotionally attached to where you want to be, right? You, day you spend some time daydreaming about winning that NCAA title right and so you should spend some time getting emotionally invested and connected to um you know your mission but then you go back to the drawing board and so what you you want to focus on um the process well the process is there's a, a long process it's a whole season you know there's 50 matches and and you don't know there's a lot of things going on so we like to focus on on this and let's say you're in a tournament with 16 man bracket you have four matches don't focus on any match except for the first match right duh well, how about only focusing on the first period? Where are you at in the first period? We're on our feet. So all, all I tell my athletes to do, all we're gonna do is take a deep breath and relax. We always say act like you're the best because when you walk around the tournament like you're the best, something very transformative takes place. You start to feel good about yourself, right? There's a, uh, it's a phrase called acting as if. You can Google it, a million pages will pop up, right? So you act like you're the best. Act calm, cool, and collected and you take a deep breath. You have maybe a rough game plan before the match because you might know something about this opponent and you have a, a slight game plan of, of what to expect. But for the most part, you say, I'm gonna focus on scoring the first takedown and that's all I'm gonna worry about. I'll let the match take care of it. I'm gonna let the match play out after that. Trying to have control is what screws us up, right? And it's also called having a task brain. You want to have a task brain, but you don't want to. You don't want to have a task except for the one right before you, right? If you're climbing Mount Everest and you got a, all these stopping points and checkpoints, right? No, you woke up that morning. You you see there's an orange tent, right? And you're like, I got to make it to the orange tent by the time the sun goes down. And then you put and you worry about the next step, right? And then pretty soon you're like, holy cow, we've been hiking for five hours. And, and, and you kind of get lost in the climb, right? And uh, not that I've ever climbed Mount Everest, but I've had a few tough climbs and you know, that's how you do it, right? Same way for running a 15 mile run or something, right? So in a match, if you want to have more consistency and enjoy the sport more, you have to allow yourself to get lost in the wrestling. The only way to allow yourself to get lost in the wrestling is to have a task brain, but you can't be thinking about 500 tasks. You only gotta be thinking about the next step in front of you. And so you wanna make a commitment that says, I'm gonna score first. I score first or no one does. That's, what, that's all I'm worried about. I'm gonna worry about scoring first. I make sure no one's, you know, I score first or no one does. And we like to say, whatever happens, happens, right? Whatever happens, happens, doesn't mean I'm okay if I lose. Like, oh well, you know, it is what it is. That's not what we're saying. When you say whatever happens, happens, it means I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not going to worry about it, right? I wanna win more than anybody, uh, and that's a fact. But all, I, all I'm gonna worry about is the first takedown because I want to give up on all the other stuff, right? I just gotta worry about the first takedown. That's all I'm gonna worry about. After that, I'm gonna let the match play out. I, I'm thinking good things are gonna happen for myself. I'm thinking real good things are gonna happen for me this weekend, right? And you gotta have these thoughts. But my mind has to be task focused. And I just wanna focus on the first piece of the puzzle, the first step, and that is I gotta score first and ride hard, baby, and that's what I'm gonna do. After that, whatever happens, happens. By whatever happens, happens, I'm allowing myself to let go of anything after my thoughts of, the, of scoring the first takedown. So that's some good advice, I think. Hopefully it helps you. 
good luck to you if you wanted to check us out perlerwrestling.com i'm going to practice had the eye doctor appointment so i'm running a little bit late but we got about five hammer coaches there getting the thing started so i'm headed down the road good luck